Hello class, we're going to review the Occupational Outlook Handbook um, to help you complete the Occupational Research Worksheet um, for your informational interview assignment. If you look at the left here, you can see we have the Occupational Research Worksheet, um, which requ requires you to obviously choose uh, an occupation that you'd like to research. Um, and then we do ask you to kind of have an understanding of a few different areas to complete the worksheet. Knowledge uh, required, skills required, duties, working conditions, salary range, opportunities for advancement, and so on. Um, the Occupational Outlook Handbook is a great resource that will um, assist you in completing that worksheet. Um, the Occupational Outlook Handbook is put together by the Bureau of Labor Statistics um, and really covers quite a bit of the information that we're looking for for you to research. You do have some options to um, research different occupations based on different areas of interest, um, or you can go uh, to the occupation that you're interested in by using the A to Z index. So we're going to click on the A to Z index. And then we are interested in looking for information on social work. So we'll find social work here and click on it. And then um, the summary page really gives us um, just a quick snapshot of um, that particular occupation, um, giving us some details um, into um, how that occupation um, works, some of the things that go along with it. Um, in comparison to the research worksheet, you can see knowledge required, um, skills required, and then you have some tabs across the top of the page. Um, which will allow you to kind of better understand um, what we're looking for on the research worksheet. So for example, um, when we're looking for, um, let's say, um, skills required or the knowledge required, maybe we click on the how to become one. So on the how to become a social worker page, you'll see there is a list of information, um, paragraph um, on the education that's required, um, if there are any licenses or certifications that are required, and then important qualities. So if you take a look at this particular section, many of those details um, will also help you to complete that um, research worksheet. Um, salary is an expectation of the research worksheet, so if we click on the pay tab, um, you're going to be able to see the median um, annual wage for social workers was at $45,900. So you can really get a, a better idea of what are the actual um, salary expectations uh, for the field that you might be interested in. Um, let's see. Something else that I like to kind of show you um, with this is that you can also um, kind of get information about similar occupations. So let's say through your research that maybe um, you will discover that social work isn't quite what you thought it was or that you might want to consider a new area, um, the Similar Occupations tab is going to show you or offer you some alternative um, occupations that could be considered. And what's great about those is that they're then linked also through the Occupational Outlook Handbook um, and will take you to those pages with the details. Um, so another great way to kind of get some more information that might be related to things you could be potentially thinking of. So really, you get a chance to kind of click through each of the tabs to understand a little bit more about the occupation in detail. Um, you know, there's definitely more information on um, this resource than we require um, for the worksheet. However, um, you know, the information that we're looking for on the website and the, the worksheet are pretty comparable. So spend some time um, on the Occupational Outlook Handbook. Um, really just getting a, a better feel for the occupations that you might be interested in researching.